Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's the weekend, right? It is, the, well, it's the weekend for me. It is the weekend for me right now. I don't know when you are watching this, but for me, it's the weekend. Every weekend uh, on Magic Orthodoxy, we open up a fresh pack of playing cards and check out the latest and greatest in playing cards. This is where you can go every single week to see a new deck. Two, right? Two decks a week. Uh, today we're gonna look at The Art of Steampunk. This is volume two, volume two from Aristo Playing Card Company. I got these from the good people down at playingcarddecks.com. Um, steampunk themed, right? Steampunk themed. Actually, you know what's interesting is um, the world of steampunk has entered into my everyday life because uh, my kids and I are watching uh, the new TV show, Shadow and Bone. Shadow and Bone TV show over on Netflix. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. Uh, inspired from the books by Leia Bardugo. I haven't read the books, but loving the TV show. Loving the TV show. My kid has asked for the books now because of the TV show. They're like, my kid's like, now I want the books. <laughs> so my kid likes that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, let's check out Art of Steampunk Volume 2. All right, Art of Steampunk Volume 2, uh, Volume 1, I already reviewed. I reviewed uh, Volume 1, October 11th, 2020. So love all those three-dimensional gears in the front. It really looks like it has dimension, doesn't it? Um, if you don't know what steampunk is, steampunk is a hybrid genre. So aside from being part science fiction, it also incorporates other elements from horror, and fantasy and alternative history into it. Uh, that's everything I can show you about the tuck case. Let's break it open and look at the cards. The back design looks exactly like it did on the tuck case, and you'll also notice that it is a one-way back design, right? The imagery, when you flip it over, is different, which means you could do one-way back magic tricks. The other thing you'll notice is it has a very thick white border. There's a little bit of brokenness to the border right there that kind of creates uh, a pseudo cigar band, but very thick white border, but beautiful striking coppers and golds. With this deck, you'll get two advertisement cards. One is a uh, link, right? A little scannable UPC that takes you to the Aristo playing cards website, which I believe is down. I don't think it's up anymore. And the second card is a thank you to all their steampunk backers. With this deck, you'll also get two original Jokers, very scary looking, uh, haunted-like imagery of a Joker holding what appears to be a coin in one hand and wearing a very spooky mask with goggles and skeletal teeth. The one on the left is red and the one on the right is blue. Looking at the card faces, you're gonna notice that everything has been completely hand-drawn. That's right, so you have black suits, for the spades, and you have the numeric there in the center, and it makes a little image, a little picture there to look at. Absolutely gorgeous colored court cards, very unique, and again, completely drawn by hand. Your aces are all exploded. And then you're gonna repeat into the diamonds with some of the same imagery. Your red suits are red. Again, completely original quartz for each suit, no duplicating the same court series over and over again. You could certainly uh, create a fun story about these characters, or if you are a steampunk magician, these would be, I think, just as good for magic because, I mean, somebody holding that, they understand. That's the Ten of Hearts, right? There's no, no way around it. It's not like they could look at it and go, I can't tell what that is. So uh, I think it's a fun deck. The other thing I can tell you is these cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company. They are traditionally cut. 10 cards in a caliper comes to 2.79, which is a middle of the road, I would say, cut, which means they're a retail stock, which means they'll be nice and springy and have a lot of action right out of the box. What's your favorite steampunk movie, book, TV show? What's, what's your favorite? If you, you like steampunk, where do you go? What's, what's, your, uh, what's your favorite? And are you watching Shadow and Bone right now? Are you watching Shadow and Bone? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, Art of Steampunk Volume 2. I really want to thank the good people down at playingcarddecks.com. 
Shopify.com. That's where you can go. And uh, while you're there, you can probably fill a shopping cart because they've got all kinds of decks there. They've got all the decks that maybe you've been looking for or uh, haven't found. They're probably there. They've got a huge selection. So make sure you add a couple to cart so you can save on uh, shipping and handling. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. From my homepage, if you look up at the top, you'll see one of the tabs says store. If you click that, that'll take you to my Teespring merchandise. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.